Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe and today we are going to do an acrylic pour painting on a 10 by 10 canvas using mixed media girl pouring paint. We've got white, gold, fairy spit, and amethyst. We've already got the white down on the canvas because today's pour will be a string pull acrylic pour. So I'm going to start by pouring some paint onto this parchment paper. Do like kind of just little kind of squares next to each other. And I've got three strings of relatively the same length, well larger than the canvas that is needed. <laughs> um, but that just gives you more kind of wiggle room to play with. And you can use any amount of colors. I was looking at the, my favorite ones that I've done in the past and it looked like the three colors was the um, common denominator <laughs> there. So that's why I went ahead and chose to just stick with three colors today, but I have done ones with more colors before. Okay, so I've gone through each of those colors three times. Now we're gonna take the string and actually let's just take them all at the same time, might as well. And place them directly into the paint. Mm, kind of missed a little bit. Actually, we're just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do in just a second to kind of fix that problem. I'm using my finger to saturate the paint, um, the string in the paints. And trying to remember which finger goes with which color, but if you get them mixed up, it's okay because it's all gonna go on the canvas. <laughs> um, gold, and then fairy spit. And then what I'm going to do here is take the strings, I'm gonna leave me a little handle, and I'm just gonna kinda, kinda place it back over itself and saturate the bottom of the, the string. Mm, getting all the fingers mixed up. <laughs> all right, so now our string should have plenty of paint on them. I'm going to take one string at a time, so this might be interesting. Pick one up and then set it on the canvas. And I think this first one I'm going to do will be in the middle and like a really tall one. And I'm going to go ahead and just lay all three out so I can get an idea of my design. I'm going to go on this side next. I think I want to do kind of like a little loop there. Make this one a little bit shorter than the first one. And then this one I want to put on this side. I'm going to start a little bit higher up than on the other side. And then just do that. All right. And then I think I want to pull this first one that we laid down first. And you just want to pull it straight through the paint. One key point when doing this is you definitely want the thinnest possible layer that you can manage on that white base coat or any color base coat. If it is not thin enough, then the paints will all just sink in. All right, I'm gonna do this one next. You don't wanna lift that string up at all. You just wanna pull it straight through. Ooh, I love this one. And then all of these colors were metallic, except for the white. So it's very, very shiny. I like it. I do think I want to do two more kind of in the middle here. The strings have a lot of white on them, so I'm going to just kind of run my finger through the string. I'll show you in just a second on how I do that. I'm gonna lay this one down first. I don't think I'm gonna need a lot of paint because I want them to be smaller. They're gonna be smaller than the ones that are already on the canvas. Sorry for the delay. <laughs> My brain is not braining. 
Um, okay, so I'll show you how I kind of just clean the string. I just like run it through my finger like that and just let the paint drip off. I'm trying to show you and not drip on the canvas at the same time. <laughs> I'll come back and do that one. Let's go ahead and lay this one down first. And I think I want to lay it down right here. Kind of get that petal that kind of disappeared. Stuck to my finger. Um, kind of put some in that negative space. All right, happy with that placement. Now just one more to go. And then for this one, I think let's do it here. I want it to try to miss that flower. I'm laying it down very intentionally. Okay. So now I'm going to pull this one. All right, happy with that. And then we'll go ahead and pull this one. Yeah, I love it. Let me bring you in for a close up. Okay, here we are for the close up. I'm going to start at the bottom and go up and then back down again. So you can see all the little petals that are made from that string pull all of the shimmeriness from the metallics. Some of my favorite colors here. I just like anything that shimmers though. All the little lines coming together with some of that white through it. Oh, even some little cells trying to pop up. That's good too. Let me know what you think of this technique in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and do what makes you happy.